afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Memorial United Methodist Church in Thomasville, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, March the 17th. You've got Rodney here and Danny, um, and we are here on St. Patrick's right. Day. I'm wearing my green. You're wearing green. You got I your do. green on, too. This I, is great. I remember yeah. getting pinched too many times. I know. I know. I mentioned it to Grayson this morning. He went around pinching his brother and sister before they even oh got their clothes on. God. Before they got out of their pajamas. So, yeah, he was he was, he was was wreaking havoc on everybody. But um, you, you had some interesting thoughts about, or, or facts, about um, about St. Patrick's oh, Day. Oh, yeah, St. Patrick. Used to be blue. I, I did not know that. I didn't either. It's all green now. It. It's all green. Chicago River and everything else is green. Because he wanted to use the shamrock <laughs> to teach the pagans about the Trinity. That's cool. I, so I, he changed from Duke Blue mm, to green. We can, Maybe it was Carolina Blue. We can just call it blue. Maybe I, that's why he changed because it was light blue. I don't know. But it used to be blue. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. St. Patrick's Day be blue. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So anyway, but uh, I also heard that he ran all the snakes out, out of Ireland. That that was, uh, yeah, that he was missed, a big... He missed a few. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they don't have any in Ireland. I don't know. <laughs> he missed them here, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, there's plenty of snakes around. All right. So anyway, so be sure to wear your green today and uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day, which I think is, is actually the anniversary of his death. I think that was. Yes. And, and it was like... 400, 461. It was real early. So um, anyway, yeah. So that was uh, St. Patrick's Day today. But that's not all that's going on today. There's there's lots of other things. Today is a is a um, big day in history. Um, and uh, General Douglas MacArthur in 1942 made his famous promise, infamous promise, um, as he was leaving the Philippines. Like I guess the Japanese. Um, uh, Navy or whatever was taking over the Philippines, and he he was just like he was tough. Like uh, General MacArthur was was tough. He like was. he he was the last one to leave. He did not want to get out of there. He did not want to give up the ship. He, he said the only way I'm getting out of here is if I surrender at best. <laughs> so um, they uh, I think that the president finally talked him into leaving, and right. he said he he said his famous quote I shall return. And so that, that and, and he uh, did. Yeah, yeah. Later on, he brought the the U.S. Navy into the Philippines and wiped out the Japanese uh, um, Navy yeah. and everything. And so. you know, then it, later Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> he said, "I'll be back." I'll be back. And he did too. <laughs> yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, I so, mean, he copied that. So he yeah. didn't have a. You know, MacArthur had that looked like a corn cob pie. Yeah, didn't it? that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked yeah. like a corn cob all the pie. time. You, yeah, he was he was copying Popeye. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, I, I, I tend to think that I don't know the dates, but like the the, the Terminator and Popeye probably well, those tough guys was taking their their cues yeah, off yeah, off, yeah. off yeah. <laughs> Jeremy MacArthur. They are he is tough. He was tough, man. I he, think he was a West Point. Was he a West Point guy? I don't know. I, I, he was tough. I, I, re- I read him. a couple things about him, and it, it was just like, wow, this, this guy is yeah. the real deal. He's tough. So anyway, um, 1942, I shall return. So uh, that was that's I will. Kinda, I, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> so also, um, we we got some birthdays we want to celebrate. Um, today is the birthday of King James the Fourth, and um, he was the a former king of Scotland. And we all know that Scotland is like the birthplace of golf. That's right. And you were telling me about this cat, um, James, <laughs> King James, that 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 uh, he in, outlawed in golf. golf. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what I didn't. I don't know why he did that. He outlawed I mean, golf in the birthplace of, of golf. <laughs> but but he liked playing golf, and and then it came back because he liked. Uh, he liked wearing real bright, gaudy-looking clothes <laughs> and funny hats. And little hats and yeah. knickers and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, so yeah. uh, I, that that is uh, that's yeah. I mean, and, everybody goes to Scotland to play golf now. Well, I'd heard that at some point he reinstated it. Like he learned yeah. he learned to like it, so he reinstated it. So he he passed the law to end it, and then sometime at some point he was playing it when it was. Not legal to play it. <laughs> he probably just he had. A, it back. He probably had a bad round and said, "You know what? Instead of throwing his that'll, clubs or whatever, he said we're outlawed." That'll do it. <laughs> that'll make that happen. So anyway, the the it's, it's King James the Fourth of Scotland's birthday. So um, anyway, 
Um, it's also Nat King Cole's birthday today. Nat King Cole. He was born in 1919, and t- so today should be unforgettable. <laughs> there it is, unforgettable. <laughs> so yeah, so we're um, we celebrate Nat King Cole, and then um, in and then it's Kurt Russell's birthday yeah. too. Um, most recently, the the uh, the movie dad of uh, of Chris Pratt, the uh, the Marvel Star Lord. Is know. that right? Yeah, yeah. So in in Guardians of the Galaxy, he's he's the father of Star Lord. Anyway, I'm, I'm geeking you. out now. You have no idea. That's good. <laughs> Somebody does. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he Kurt Russell was born um, in 1951, so that makes him 70, 70 years, years old, old today. Yeah. So. so so he and Goldie Hawn. Yeah, they've they're been a couple. Yeah. 37 years. We just found out. Yeah, 37, 37. years. And they they've been together. They've never got married. Not, yeah, yeah, not married. In 37 so. years. I think he's trying to save up so he can buy her an engagement ring. That's going to be I a, think that's what he's doing. That's going to be a heck of a diamond there. It, 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 it. <laughs> it's too much salary. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, Kurt. Get that's together. Right. <laughs> so anyway, a um, couple birthdays to celebrate and then it's also the anniversary of some some deaths that are that are kind of famous. We um, we recognize the death of Gracie Lance, who um, died in 1992. I'm going to let you tell them who Gracie, Gracie Lance. Gracie, she you was, never heard of her, so uh, um, Woody Woodpecker. Everybody <laughs> knows old Woody. Well, her husband is the one that created Woody Woodpecker. Yep. And um, but she was the voice behind Woody Woodpecker. So. Uh, Gracie Lance, a female, was a voice behind Woody Woodpecker. I hope her r- real voice was a little bit different oh, than pro- Woody too. Woodpecker's voice, because that would be I'd get old. But one good thing about having her in the house is she's always the one that put the answer on the answering machine ah. when you call their house. You talk to Woody Woodpecker. That's good. That's yep. really good. So anyway, you never um, heard her. I never heard her name. I never. I mean, I, I didn't know who created Woody Woodpecker, but I knew him. Yeah. 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 So that's a hit for women's rights right there. There you go. <laughs> women's empowerment. And then another anniversary of a death is Lonzo Lonnie Clayton. And uh, so he was 15 when he won the Kentucky Derby. That's and, amazing. Yeah. And I guess he was the youngest person to ever that's what they say. win the yeah. Kentucky Derby. So, um, yeah. Alonzo Lonnie Clayton. He was so. a boy among adults. Yes, well, he was. I don't know about adults, but... He was probably the same height as all of them. I mean, they got to be short. You, I mean, you, you give, can put you give, you give you jockeys such ride. a hard time. We were just talking about Willie Shoemaker. I mean, you <laughs> couldn't ride a horse. I mean, <laughs> Definitely not. We could, but they ain't going to go around there real fast. It's going to be broke down or something. <laughs> we'll drive right into the ground. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, it's, um, 15 was the youngest jockey to ever win the Kentucky Derby. That's that's kind of a, a cool thing. So, And then finally, we got a holiday that we're celebrating today. It is National submarine day and i want to shout out to jeff harrison my favorite submariner um out there it is national submarine day and uh jeff spent a little bit of time on some submarines in his day he was he was in the navy and i think that's a special crew that goes on submarines and everything and uh yeah i don't and so today is the um the day that the first real submarine was launched and it was it was invented by a guy named John Philip Holland and it was like way back in 1897 or something I, that would be dicey to, to go get the submarine that was built in 19, um, oh, 1897 yeah. and uh, but it was underwater for an hour and 40 minutes so um, he he sold his design to the Navy and uh, it was and that first USS Holland was launched on this day. Them things are amazing. Now. Yeah, I like to watch YouTube videos. Oh man, they're big. I mean, yeah, but they're yeah. still. I mean, they're long and they're, crazy. But man, it'd still be a. Well, I saw we. Ha- I had. Um, I was at a thing where they brought in and had um, some people talking about like a special program at a church once, and uh, they had like bicycle like to turn the propeller. They had people um, sitting like three people in it. They were real small and people doing bicycle, uh, pedaling bicycles would turn the propeller to get them to go forward and, and, and change. And they could only go forward. They had they couldn't like go backwards or whatever. I get, it, but it was like, wow, that is dicey. <laughs> it's like, we went on one on Charleston down there. 
at, in Charleston. Uh, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's the. Uh, you, go on that, you can go walk through that thing, boy. It's rickety looking. It's yeah, like a yeah, tin can nice or something. So. National Submarine Day. Yeah. I, I don't know if you want to get on one, but maybe watch a video on one. Yeah, I'm so. glad for <laughs> But anyway, so interesting things happening on March the 17th. and um, But we also have some really cool stuff that's happening here at Memorial today and this week and everything. Right. We want you to be aware of it. Um, we still have our Linton Food Drive going on this Friday at 10 o'clock. Bring your, uh, your uh, non-perishable food and canned items and and uh, monetary donations for cooperative yep. community ministries drop them off here at the church there'll be somebody here from the missions uh committee from 10 to 11 a.m and you, and they will unload everything that you have in your car and make sure that it all gets delivered um quickly to cooperative community ministries and uh we uh we, we thank uh ccm for for their ministry to our to our right. community it's really important but we support them in, in those those ways and so um, it's really important ministry, so I hope that you will um, support this effort to uh, to be able to help out CCM during this time. And then we um, tonight is uh, is uh, Tim Lyons is hosting again the, a Zoom meeting at six thirty. It's the it's the Bible study, the walk um, that was originally written by Adam Hamilton. I, I understand it's going really really well. It's not too late to join that. We're we're getting pretty deep into it, but I think that the the um, I think that the the studies, the the the, the sessions or whatever are um, are such that you can kind of jump in at any right. time. And, and there's so, books. Yeah, there's at a book. the receptionist desk. If yeah, you. yeah. The books are here. Tim, will, uh, you need to contact Tim. I'll put his address on the screen um, when we uh, when we do it, and so you'll know you can send him an email, and he will give you send you the Zoom link, and if you need a book, he can get you that book and. Um, but it's, I think it's really rewarding Bible study, and so we want to encourage you to, to be a part of that. And then I, I'm going to tell us about the um, the early service. I, early service is going to be starting I'm, up here in a couple of weeks, uh, putting the final touches on it, doing a few dry runs, yeah, getting the sound. And, you know, we've got all this brand new uh, equipment, uh, yeah. AV equipment uh, in the church, and so they're dialing in yeah. all of that, and uh, Aaron's got the... Uh, you got the band back together, yeah. and they're fine-tuning what they're doing. I heard them playing um, this weekend. It, and, it sounded uh, really good. It's so. going to be before Easter, and yeah. so that's not many weeks. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so that gives you an happen. idea. Maybe. Hey, the other thing is, you remember we sent all that, that Lenten packet out to everybody yeah. at home. Yeah, yeah. Got that little bag in it yep. for 30 pieces of silver yeah. and daily readings, and we hadn't really said a lot about that. I hope people have been paying attention to that, but... Uh, you can you can continue to put your thirty pieces of silver in that little bag and bring it and uh, bring it on East, Easter you Sunday, can, so. yeah, or whenever you want to. Yeah, and uh, the daily readings are there, and so I hope that uh, everybody's found that to be um, be a, a helpful thing. We are we are we are running through Lent, man. It is going quickly, so um, continue to uh, to take care of each other. We're still doing our ten at tens, and and uh, that's that's lots of fun. And so continue to. Uh, to check us out. Obviously, we're still um, 11 o'clock worship and 10 o'clock um, uh, Sunday school at the R.L. Pope class. Those are in person as well as virtual on Facebook Live, and we're we're on uh, WGOS 1070 at those uh, live at those times. And so um, we just uh, we we thank you, thank you for connecting with us today. I, ha I hope that you continue to take care of each other and take care of yourselves and stay healthy, everybody. See you.